Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. So let's start uh, today's session, question answer session. So if you have any questions, uh, raise hands and I will unmute you. Yes, uh, Shalini. Uh, hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, uh, I am product producing many products. I have developed so many products also. Like uh, you, uh, you have guided. I have prepared some serums also, ma'am. One thing, uh, in place of carbomer, I am using xanthan gum and guar gum. Mostly, I'm using xanthan gum. Okay. Uh, okay. I think uh, consistency of serum is okay, but uh, like if I'm trying to creating a gel format, that is not coming that exactly that I that we want for a professional use. So. Do you prefer carbomer or some other? I should go for some other thickeners like this one. Uh, basically, xanthan gum they use it in food industry for jams and other stuffs. But uh, to make the professional product using uh, xanthan gum, it is quite uh, difficult. It is quite tri uh, tricky. So it is always uh, preferred. Uh, preferred ingredient is carbomer. So you can go with uh, carbomer initial stages uh, that is only recommended one more thing ma'am actually i'm trying to create ayurvedic products uh, oh. so because my customers are also already requiring that uh, because i'm already uh, providing uh, great uh, nr uh, uh, products from herbal line like hair oil and some other things i have created uh, one gel also that is a beetroot uh, red wine carrot uh, gel uh, for anti aging or a kind of retinol, this this you you can say it's a natural format of retinol as I have studied, but okay. the color has been changed uh, because uh, in uh, hydrosol I have uh, uh, put there uh, rose water, but okay. uh, color has been changed by the time it was very nice color in the beginning, uh, and fragrance was very good because I have added uh, rose essential oil in that. But after a few days, the color has been changed. Why it is so, ma'am? Uh, when you use natural ingredient alone, a color using natural ingredient, it will fade. With time, any natural ingredient, uh, it will have chemical reaction. So uh, it will fade. So that is why we are using uh, the colors, uh, like non-dispersion uh, colors, uh, liquid colors you can use. Just few drops, at least that color will stay. So, okay, ma'am, but but uh, according to you, it, it's natural to fade the color, but the uh, cosmetic is fine if I'm using it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. So yes. we can sell that also if color is fading too. Uh, but it uh, nowadays, you no know, people uh, look the product and then they decide uh, like everything. Uh, if the color is fading, if it is dull, then it will not be more appealing. So it is preferred if you had one or two drops of non-dispersion colors, it is very safe. So uh, like after sometimes when the customer buys it and then the color fades, they will complain like uh, the, there is some issue with the product. So they can think anything, right? We know that the product is okay, only the color is fade. But from the customer side, they will feel like it has got some contamination and uh, it will become a complaint. So that is why uh, it is recommended to add uh, these one or two drops of non-dispersion liquid colors. 
ओके थैंक यू मैम वन मोर क्वेश्चन मैम आई एम हैविंग सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ आई एम रेगुलरली डेवलपिंग प्रोडक्ट्स मैम इफ आई एम यूजिंग प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक आई एम क्रिएटिंग सोप्स और आई एम क्रिएटिंग एनी आयुर्वेदिक प्रोडक्ट लाइक उपटन और समथिंग लाइक या और फेस वॉश आई एम ट्राइंग टू ऐड uh essential oil in that because i think that is more natural just one thing i want to know do essential oils have that uh, suppose if i'm adding lemongrass in uh, orange serum if i've created orange serum and i'm i'm adding lemongrass in that that essential oil will also add vitamin c to that serum uh depends on what uh, essential oil if you are add, adding uh, lemongrass yes definitely little bit of uh, vitamin c will be there and i have created mist also ma'am kind of like i have created uh, from orange peels i have uh, uh, boiled orange peels and lemongrass together and i have created some face mist from that uh and i have added some lemongrass mint and tea tree essential oils some few few drops but after applying uh, it's like uh, some tingling effect uh, in starting for a few seconds and after that it will it's it's getting normal is it normal ma'am or i am, am i yeah when you use more of natural ingredients you get that sensation without making a product itself uh, like only that uh, essential oil and all the natural ingredients combined together when you apply it you get that uh, tingling sensation even in gels when we use like more than 20 percentage of natural ingredient that tingling sensation will be there that is why we feel that this natural ingredient when it starts working no we you get that uh, sensation it is very uh, normal you can explain the same to your customers also okay thank yeah. you ma'am i'm learning a lot i have not completed yet because i am taking one one step uh, i am taking one uh, video of you and then i am trying to develop new products this was a reason yes ma'am no problem you can take your time so thank you so uh, before uh, continuing with this uh, session uh, i would want to Uh, let you know few things which uh, we are working in the institute of cosmetic science so uh, actually we are going to start a new branch in uh, bomnahalli uh, sorry uh, yeah in bangalore uh, and uh, we are introducing a course in collaboration with the medavi uh, university so it is a ugc certified course so after 2020 if you are studying uh, engineering or uh, arts or any courses uh, in a university you get credits right and even in internationally uh, when you do some course uh, in a ugc certified university you get uh, you get credits so this credits will give you a lot of value and when you do higher studies or when you do anything when you go for a, a job interview this credit is what is very valuable so uh, we are in collaboration with uh, medavi university and we are going to start a credit based uh, course uh, same like if you uh, study uh, engineering you get like for 80 90 credits here in this uh, this will be a one year diploma course and you will be getting around uh, 20 30 credits and the work is going on so uh, this course first i want to uh, like uh, give this option for existing students uh, who have completed diploma in skin care formulation course it will be very useful for you and uh, only a drawback will be we don't have any uh, online classes for this it is completely university collaboration so there is no online classes and uh, it will be offline mode but uh, in bangalore that to in bomnahalli we have a lot of pgs around and uh, we have got only 20 seats approval so uh, if anyone is interested uh, you can let me know you can uh, send an email i'm sending you the email id where you have to send an email if you are interested and before that i will let you know the fees also uh, it is 1 lakh 30000 rupees for one year it will be including uh, materials 
since it is a university course it is not charged by our academy it is our in collaboration with the university but uh, what value you are going to get it will be uh, you cannot measure it because here in india we don't have a course like this and uh, for one year you will be learning everything that is the main focus uh, here will be uh, formulating with gums and uh, formulating it like you can start formulating on your own like uh, in the diploma in skincare formulation course we have given the formula and just by you are just going to change the botanical actives and you're going to uh, make new products if uh, if you want to create new products but here after you complete the course you'll be able to formulate from scratch everything you'll be able to formulate from scratch so uh that is, uh, we give you the, we'll be teaching you everything, surfactants, humectants, or anything like emulsifiers, uh, carrier oils, essential oils, every detail will be explained. And how you can do the formulation from scratch, that training will be given. You'll be learning more detailed about soap making, serum making, that is uh, using actives like neominocide, hyaluronic acids, and AHAs, BHAs, everything, complete course will be there. As well as uh, skincare formulation will be there, hair care formulation will be there, kids products formulation will be there, men products formulation will be there. So it is a complete course. Uh, so the books, materials, and there will be two or three semesters will be there. Uh, everything, uh, what you get in a university, everything will be there. It will, so it is no more a simple institute. It is a college. So uh, if you are interested, this option, I'm, I've been uh, telling this first time only uh, to all of you who have joined today. So in future, we'll be uh, like uh, starting, uh, we'll be informing other uh, people because in our community, we have uh, 1,500 active students and the inactive people, they are uh, around 15,000 people. We have another community as well as our followers, 77,000 uh, above followers we have in Instagram. So uh, before telling in anyone, before giving this information to anyone, I want to give this information to all of you because I know uh, today, uh, all of you who have joined today's session, you are very active in your uh, business. You have been doing uh, formulation from scratch. So I know the course fee, you might feel it is little high, but it is a university course and it has a lot of value. And uh, since we have only 20 seats left, uh, that is approved from us. Uh, uh, so if any one of you are interested, uh, you can let us know uh, by sending an email to this. So let us continue with the session. So anyone who'd like to speak, uh, you can unmute. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Uh, this is Apsha this side. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, I just wanted to know, like, I am still in the process of developing the first product, that is the face gel. Okay. So, I will initially do a prototype testing, giving it to my friends and relatives. But once I want to sell it, like, online, how do I go with the branding of the product and uh, other things, ma'am? Can you help me with that? Who want to do the branding? Uh, I'm not able to get the complete idea. Ma'am, suppose uh, first thing is selecting the name of the product that I'll be selling. Um, so is there something like do I need to go for a trademark or something like that to get a name for the product that I'll be selling, or I can directly choose one and produce a label, stick it on the product, and then sell it? So trademark is a very difficult procedure. You should have, uh, like, uh, it is not recommended for skincare brands, uh, for small businesses, it is not recommended. You should have a lawyer and uh, there will be many oppositions. You have to fight that and you have to get that. Uh, still, Institute of Cosmetic Science uh, trademark is going on and we got the approval. We can use it as trademark registered, but it takes like two years and you will have to invest 40, 50,000 for completing the whole procedure. So I feel that uh, for 
skin care as a business it is not recommended so uh, you can just uh, uh, like how we name uh, like we recommend uh, like uh, naming the brand is your brand story like what you're going to do uh, what is the value you're going to give are you focusing on kids are you focusing on uh, natural based products are you focusing on men's or women or anything like what is the idea who is your target audience and what is the value you're going to give all that based on that you can keep a brand name and then uh, you can start making the label and you can start uh, your business. Like you can approach any chartered accountants, get a MSME certificate. After you keep a name, you can get a MSME certificate. They may charge like 1,000, 2,000 max. So uh, you can get that and you can start your business. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So there's no need of going in the complicated way, just MSME registration and then I can start selling it on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Um, uh, Cecilia. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, about this course, like, what is the age limitation that Bangalore you are planning to start? No yes. age limitations. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> till now, uh, we have not got the uh, like criteria for age limitations. We have asked for uh, 50, till 50, and uh, after 10, 10 passes the criteria. Till 50 years, we have asked, and most probably we won't get any issues for age limitations. Okay, ma'am. Uh, one uh, question I have is like again the uh, when we make the product, actually I have formulated a lot of products, and uh, but all these uh, time I've been taking the extracts from uh, outside from a vendor and then using it. Okay. And uh, I have not made the extract at home and uh, made it. But I want to know what is the potency of how long we can keep this product if we make the extract at home and use uh, uh, this um, preservative like uh, uh, phenoxyethanol and uh, sodium benzoate together if we use for that and how long then we can use the product. Okay. Uh... If you're going to just use phenoxyethanol and uh, sodium benzoate, both are almost food grade. Uh, not sure. phenoxyethanol, but uh, sodium benzoate is uh, food grade. So I think you'll have to keep uh, the natural ingredients less than 5%. You have to make it in small batches. You have to test it for like three months. Only then you will be able to decide. At least you can use Iskagad. Uh, if you use Iskagad PEG, it is also... Uh, uh, organic certified preservative so you can use that and uh, if you use that definitely it will stay good for one year if you use five percentage of the actives not more than that uh, that is botanical actives when you use more than five percentage you can uh, use iska guard that is enough that we can use only this extract five percentage only that yeah, means yeah. Uh, what would be the ratio of water and the dried uh, uh, ingredient when we boil it what would be the percentage uh, is it the 10 is to uh, 9, uh, yeah, 9, the, whatever it is, 1 is to 9, yeah, what is it? So, if, if you're going to use dry powders to make the extract? No, not powder, dry leaf, like which hazel leaf you want. If I want chamomile, uh, so I get the dry flowers, right? And then uh, what would be the percentage of the dry flower and water? It is always 30 to 40 percentage of uh, dried powders or uh, dried uh, leaves or essentials maximum you can use 40 percentage and remaining will be uh, water and then what uh, extract you're getting in that only five percentage will be using in the formulation okay and then if it is a fresh flowers and leaves then uh, what is the what should be the percentage even uh, that anything uh, that cannot go beyond 40 percentage actually 30 percentage is recommended but we have tried once using 40 percentage also it is not a problem okay that means for the dry and fresh the percentage is same right yes 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 okay but, and then uh, maybe hopefully we can get little more uh, um, quality stuff when we are making the extract at home right yes, yes. okay Ma'am, again, another problem what I faced is for essential oil. Uh, like one vendor, if I take 10 essential oil, different, different one. And uh, I think five of them are uh, proper and five of them are just uh, not uh, proper one, fake. 
like you know it's not a quality one so uh, can you uh, suggest me a very good vendor uh, the pure essential oil yeah the uh, medical medicinal grade essential oil where i can purchase from in india uh, usually we buy from vijayam impex and we have not faced any issues till okay. now uh, okay only them we purchase uh, essential oils here okay perfect then okay then uh, ma'am again the carmine mica i couldn't get anywhere in india carmine that is that uh, uh, which is from the cactus i think that yeah. gives a very good color shade especially that the mac uh, shade is from that ruby red i think yeah right? so i'm not getting anywhere in india that i've been searching yeah. that uh, it is not available here only the pink shade uh, we have to match yes. that have to get it here that is the issue in india many ingredients we are not able to get so mm. but tkb is, is giving it tkb is uh, delivering it in india so okay. should i take a try but if any quality issue it is difficult then canada it is coming from right so quality issue we, we won't be able to complain about it that's the only problem yeah understood we are also getting it from abroad only Uh, uh, okay. directly uh, it is not like brand we have a company in uh, abroad and they settle like 15 kg 20 kg but i think we don't have stock now so there is no option here you will have to match the color and you have to get the mica here in india okay and then a uh, lot of stuff what you have mentioned in lipstick but it's not available in vijaya vijaya very few shades are available in vijaya uh, vijaya box and uh, so any other uh, vendor is there for you like available sp uh, suppliers should be having uh, sp yes and online also nowadays uh, many brands are sending uh, selling raw materials that to lipstick formulation colors mica colors it is available you can search online you can give a try but the, how we can trust them ma'am that is one should be a trustable one especially the lipstick means it should be food grade because yeah. we have more, more lot of people they we gulp it right we eat that so it should be very careful uh, that's yeah. what you i think you can think. try pure and so pure and so okay okay they should ha huh. huh. okay they have very good mica shades yes it is quite costly but it is available ha huh. ma'am and the thing is we are using sandal powder uh, in cream right snipe yeah. cream so uh, if we use that is it uh, going to it's not going to clog the pores of the skin and the face especially when we use it uh, we are using very limited uh, like quantity right so 1 gram or something yeah. one percentage one yeah. percentage okay and then one more thing question is wine when we are using wine in cream so uh, wine is got a lot of sugar in it right so uh, after formation of wine Uh, that sugar convert into what? What is it? What is the form of sugar when we are using that in it? Uh, in the non-alcoholic uh, wine, uh, we prefer here in the academy when we use it, we do not use uh, sugar-based uh, non-alcoholic wine. So, okay. it sh- you have to buy it like it should not contain any uh, sugar in it. but uh, when you uh, even when you use it it is not harmful it will not change its uh, like it is will it? stay as sucrose only but still okay. it's not harmful is it uh, giving a glycolic effect or something when we are using this cream particular uh, no, cream no 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 it will not uh, do anything it is like uh, same uh, it it will be in the form of sucrose so same any sucrose based uh, nowadays sucrose gels we are doing oleo gels we are doing uh, which contains real act uh, like active sugars in it uh, it will not uh, like do any effect for the skin okay uh, ma'am but then this vendor problem lot of issues i'm facing like when we we are buying thing uh suppose uh, for the shampoo or surfactants when it comes one batch is coming because we uh, for myself i make small small batches i i don't have so so much space to stock up things one one liter i take and one time what is coming surfactant next time again the uh, it is changing the concentration and everything even if the vendor is saying it is the same thing what should i do you can buy from pioneer ingredients only chemicals alone 
uh, mm. we have tried pioneer we have tried brm chemicals uh, and uh, asis chem uh, another brand uh, all these are good uh, the issue in india vendor information vendor uh, uh, like suppliers are very very limited so when mm. we buy from uh, small vendors uh, like they also source it from someone and they keep changing according to the price and everything so when they change vendors we get different products that is why we if we stick with uh, good uh, vendors like pioneer pioneer is a very big company so yes, yes. you can uh, buy from them so that you get the same uh, I what? think extract from them only, but then they don't have a uh, two pioneers are there, two brothers. They split yeah. and made it like the old pioneer where I take from. They don't have a website, so they are taking too much of time to deliver things. Uh, that is the issue. Yeah. But every batch we cannot go for a test, now, nah, ma'am. It's very expensive for a product. It, they are charging two thousand in a lab for a test. So if we make a big batch, it's easy to go over the test. But then small batches, very expensive it is becoming. But these days, people are not doing uh, testing. You can do once for one product. After that, uh, you don't have to do. Because we have to see the, uh, like if we invest a lot in all this, then profit margin will come down for your business. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you can do the uh, testing and after that, it is not required. Okay, well, that means we should stick to one vendor. That's it, yes. right? Yes. Okay, ma'am. Another one more. Uh, I want to ask: What are the ingredients we have to? Uh, is it necessary to uh, give all the ingredient list in the on the product? Uh no, no, no. You don't have to give all the ingredient list. You have to mention the NC name for all. Not all. Uh, whatever like major ingredients you're using, you can mention the NC name. Nowadays, don't mention the complete ingredient name. People are aware about formulation, then it will. In NC name means what, uh, ma'am? Botanical name is it? Is yeah, it yeah. When you search for any ingredient, you can search for NC name in Google. You get a NC name, and that alone you can mention in the label. Uh, I've been actually mentioning uh, half the ingredient in botanical name and a few in uh, like people can understand that way. I've been practicing that. But then again, if somebody has got some allergy with some ingredient, then that is the reason I was asking whether to mention or not. Suppose some, some people, they may be allergic to, uh, yeah, something, shea butter, yeah, um, some oil particular. Then uh, those uh, things are all botanicals you'll have to mention. So, because if they are allergic, then it will be an issue for us. It is better to mention. But for botanicals also, uh, most of the botanicals, there is NC name. You can mention that. Okay, okay, okay ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah. This information is very valuable. And uh, so, thank you. Yeah. And alcohol mist, I wanted to ask one more thing. When we are making alcohol mist, uh, so what, sorry, mist, uh, which alcohol should be used for the mist? What did the uh, which hazen are not that, coming in? The whole formulation is different, so uh, that is included in our advanced course only. Okay, so do we have a uh, chance to do the advanced course? Yeah, first uh, preference will be given to only for students. Mostly, we'll be starting admissions uh, for uh, other than students. It will be uh, next month. So this month, it will be only for students uh, of. Institute of Cosmetic Science. So okay. after that only it will be because it is only twenty seats we have got. So I want to give that to my students. Then only I will take other students. No, no. For that uh, college university thing, it is very difficult uh, for me. I live in a different state. Okay. Understood. So, uh -huh. so if you have uh, some online course, then we can think about the advanced course. Ah, yeah. Sure. If it is available, surely I will discuss. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Most welcome. Hello, ma'am. Can I skip it? Yes. Uh, ma'am, I am interested in kids' products. Is there any course? Uh, are you uh, planning to start? Uh, after this diploma in skincare formulation, we are completely focusing on the offline classes, which will be starting from August. Uh, in that uh, we are teaching. It is a complete advanced course uh, along with university collaboration. So it is available in Bangalore for one year. It is an offline course. 
in that we will be teaching it won't be possible for us to go offline yeah. i want a online course because i am uh, i stay in maharashtra nagpur okay the same course we will be taking maybe most probably online uh, not this year uh, no uh, i will will be telling you we we'll, uh, once we decide uh, we get a university approval will be letting you know here after the courses which we'll be uh, introducing will be with university collaboration only because uh, we want to give 100% value for the students that is why so okay, i will definitely talk with the university get i will will try our best to get uh, approval for the same course offline also okay like short term courses will be okay uh, like two three products <laughs> Well, that is not possible <laughs> anyways right okay. and one more thing ma'am in red wine cream uh, uh can we add like dm water because the consistency is uh, really thick whatever measurement you have given from that so when we talk about consistency why sometimes it is uh, a thick and sometimes it is uh, like thin or spreadable is because of the uh, complete uh, like first thing is supplier will be different your supplier might be different my supplier will be different the product consistency that is the raw materials also when they blend some things uh, some raw materials it will make the product thick some suppliers raw materials that will not be very effective so it will be thin first thing and second will be i he, i may heat it for 20 minutes you may heat it for 10 minutes that will also change also the water evaporation so i may keep the temperature in more than like 110 120 also you may keep it in 75 uh, degree celsius also temperature will change water evaporation will be higher water evaporation will be lower so these are the things we have to consider because what we are showing in the video and what you are doing there is major difference because of all these factors that is why uh, while once the product is while you are making itself you can check the consistency if it is thick you can add more water if it is a uh, uh, then you can boil it more you can heat it more so that you get the right consistency before uh, like cooling it down you have to check if the product is in right consistency or not that is how you can correct it no ma'am it uh, when we apply it on skin it it's heavy on skin like uh, you didn't mentioned in the video that we have to use sugar free wine so uh, whatever i got uh, it might be having sugar so it is because of that no 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 uh, sugar free or not sugar free that doesn't make a, a difference but the oils the red wine cream and the uh, this uh, sorry uh, sandalwood cream both are night cream so night creams will have all the if you have seen all the ingredients the oils will be thick oils so uh, okay. that is the difference uh, between uh, this both the products you have to use uh, thin oils like uh, rose hip oil apricot kernel oil and uh, jojoba oil is also little bit thick so only the thin oils you can use so, to get the uh, right consistency that is the uh, thickness balancing heaviness balancing you have to use all this or still if you are going to formulate for a very sensitive skin oily skin acne prone skin then you have to use any thin oils like rose hip oil grape seed oil something and half of the oils uh, you can uh, like uh, change it with some uh, cctg or um, coco caprylate you can use any of that and you can replace it half oil and half uh, coco caprylate when you use that you can uh, get like very thin consistency easily spreadable it will not be heavy it will not be bulky greasy so uh, that is how you can balance it now can you type it in the chat box whatever you uh, two things uh, you just said coco yeah yeah uh, just one second and what about the quantity quantity uh, once again i will write down the question actually many of them they have uh, contacted us uh, saying that they have work and they are not able to uh, join that is why i wanted to make a notes and i'll make a file of all the questions you are asking so reduce
So this questions, I'll make a PDF and I'll post it in the group. So another uh, next question. Ma'am, CCTG, what, is it, what should be the percentage? So if the oil is uh, like, uh, say, 30 percentage, sweet yeah. almond oil is 30 percentage, then you have to add rosehip oil 15 percentage, CCTG 15 percentage. Okay, okay, right. Okay, 50 50 percentage. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Ma'am, uh, the recording will be available because I was having internet issue. I didn't hear the part when you were calling about the course one year. So, okay. is uh, there any... I hope recording should be available. Yeah, it is recording. So, recording will uh, be posting it. Okay, thank you. The, my, my question is regarding barcodes. Uh, so, I have a registered company and MSME. But uh, I'm not able to sell to shops, I think. Are they important to have barcodes on products for selling in shops or in general? Not online. I'm selling online already. Okay. I'm just interested uh, to sell in shops. So how to get barcodes? Barcodes, uh, there are companies, uh, they will work on barcodes. They have barcode missions. So you'll have to approach the companies. Uh, it is like... Uh, any company you can search it in online Google uh, for the companies who sell barcode machines, barcode labels. You can get it and you can paste it. Because I search, there is you can apply online. So you think we are not, we won't be able to do ourselves online. So it's important to go through the company. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Barcode machines and companies. There is a software which will generate barcodes randomly. That barcodes only you can use it and. Uh, like there are machines, printers for barcode printing that you'll have to approach the companies. Okay, thank you very much. And second question, is vitamin oil same as vitamin capsules? Vitamin oil same as? The vitamin capsules we get in the shops mm -hmm. or it's important? Uh, no, no, no. Capsules, uh, there are, uh, uh, it is not uh, like correct. Uh, like uh, uh, if vitamin E, which you get in the uh, uh, pharmacy, that is quite okay but uh, vitamin oil which is sold in the cosmetics uh, raw materials shops that is entirely diff uh, different that is completely suitable for skin and the, all the, the thickness also matters so what we get in the pharmacy it is a very thick oil that will not get uh, absorbed into the skin it will clog the skin you get acne issues but what we get with the suppliers that is very thin and it is meant for using in the cosmetic products so that it will not clog the pores. It should be beneficial for this, right? It should not uh, cause any side effects. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, in cold process, any super fatting percent that is suitable for all types of skin? Uh, not any super fat, uh, but we have given uh, the formulation uh, that is versatile, but uh, the details which we are uh, planning to teach in the advanced course, this versatile formu uh, formulations, it is not uh, problematic for any type of skin. Okay, so you cannot tell that. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, uh, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, I just had the same question regarding the recording. The recording will be shared in through the messenger or WhatsApp. Uh, you have a WhatsApp group where you will be shared in the recordings? We'll post in the Facebook support group. Okay. And my second quick question is like, I think I enrolled somewhere last year, August, and I had some priorities where I could not even do anything. So now I'm just going to start off. So I saw some messages being exchanged on Facebook with regards to the consistency of the lipstick. And there were queries with regards to the wax to be used, like beeswax and uh, some were saying canuba wax. Then I think you had suggested e-wax or something. So uh, I thought whatever you have given in your formulation, we just follow through and it works out. I know there might be a difference in the consistency as you explained from supplier to supplier, but somebody had put in a question stating that the lipstick was not even spreadable and it was like uh, hard. So uh, haven't you mentioned the evax in your formulation because I haven't gone through all the videos. What no, is I this? I have not mentioned evax in the formulation. So, uh, 
two of our students, uh, they uh, they were telling me that uh, the Karnavva wax, Candelilla wax, all these uh, which they are getting from different suppliers like Amazon and uh, some suppliers because everybody they buy from different suppliers, not only what we are recommending, they buy it in Amazon also, they buy it in a local uh, supplier also. So uh, they told that uh, because what we buy is we buy from Pioneer and the lipsticks which we are making is uh, it is very spreadable it is really good and uh, it is a complete natural wax which we are using which we have mentioned in the formulation also but we kept on getting messages that it is not spreadable it is not uh, like uh, correct it is not uh, proper so uh, one of our student they sent us uh, through uh, courier they gave the wax like a little bit of the wax what they have got and uh, when we melted it and when we checked it we got to know they have added uh, the candle wax in it so uh, it is very very thick uh, and we formulated a lipstick also it was not at all spreadable uh, so there is like uh, they have uh, added some ingredient, plastic based ingredients in the wax and they are selling it as uh, natural candelilla wax and carnauba wax. That is the reason now we are recommending in the place of wax instead of using this natural wax, so called natural wax, uh, you can better use the uh, uh, e-wax and you get a very spreadable product. End of the day, uh, the product has to be good. That is what matters. Other ingredients, you can use all natural ingredients. In case you get good quality wax and you're able to make a product which is uh, perfect, then that is not an issue. If again and again you're formulating the same product and it is not spreadable, then it means that wax is not good quality. In that place, you can use a emulsifying wax. Uh, okay. Excuse me, Thank you, uh, Thanks a lot. Okay, so the uh, Vijay Impex is a reputed seller, right? I think so we should not have any issues uh, through Vijay Impex. Uh, till now, we have not got any issues with them. Okay, and the other one you mentioned was Pioneer, right? Yes, Pioneer. Okay, thank but you so much. About BRM, what about BRM? Because I ordered from them, you think they are good? Can we trust uh, BRM? BRM? So far, no issues with BRM. Okay, ma'am, the question uh, about this stick, I posted it actually in the group. So okay. I uh, ordered, uh, I want to know other students also because I had issue with uh, Carmine Red from Purance for which I ordered from Amazon and I uh, made it and it wasn't spreadable. But then I just changed the color so it works. So I wouldn't advise other students to buy this one from Amazon. I was, uh, exactly Purance for company, I don't know why. Uh, so that's the issue I had. When I changed the color, other colors from Sam Purance, so I got nice uh, spreadable lipstick. Okay. I just wanted to know other students. Oh, Thank okay. you. I understand. Sorry, come again. What is it you don't want us to buy from Amazon? It's Carmine Red. Uh, I okay. tried that one. That one. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, ma'am, actually I'm making a lipstick. Uh, and it is very dry. You to, told us about the wax, uh, but when I apply in uh, hand, apply on hand, uh, this is applicable. And when I um, uh, directly uh, used melted wax on my lips, it is a very applicable and easy for, malab, easy for application. Uh, so what I do, ma'am, but when I apply on uh, lips uh, after that molding that lipsticks, uh, so it is a very uh, hard and dry and not easily apply applicable on the lips uh, the only issue is the wax so Ma I, uh, the I... important uh, ingredient in any lipstick oils anyways we are using laps uh, the wax which we are using is going to make the product thick that is uh, uh, like you, you get the consistency of the lipstick so if it is not spreadable the issue is the wax so what wax are you using in the product uh, my my uh, use a wa buy wax from sp Okay, what wax is it? Uh, beeswax, oh, yes, and candela wax. Okay, so instead of candela wax, you can try only using beeswax and then you can okay. put it. Uh, but okay. whenever I say uh, you can try, kindly try only like 25 grams or 50 grams because I don't okay. want the product to get wasted. So you can make 25 grams of the product and uh, okay. let me know in... Uh, Ma'am, uh, is there any problem with the mold? 
बिकॉज वेन आय पुट दॅट दॅट मेल्टेड प्रोडक्ट इन अदर कंटेनर इट इज व्हेरी इझिली स्प्रेडेबल अँड ऍप्लिकेबल बट वेन आय पुट इन द बुलेट शेप मोल्ड इट इज हार्ड अँड नॉट अप्लायबल ऍप्लिकेबल ऑन लिप्स mold is something which gives a shape to the product so it will not okay. uh, like uh, uh, the issue might be uh, the main issue is wax but when you are spreading it in the uh, like when you are using it in the container yes. it, is, it is easy to take like uh, will be uh, like unknowingly will take like uh, two three times will take it and it will come easily but when you put it in a mold it gets packed tightly packed and mm-hmm. uh, only if the wax is easily like when it uh, touches the skin it has to melt and it has to spread that is the role of the product so if that is not getting achieved then there is some issue with the product any product when it gets in contact with the skin it has to melt and it has to spread then only then the product is good so if something uh, if that is not happening then it needs rework that tree work you have to change the wax and you have to try using different wax that is 25 grams you can try with bees wax 25 grams you can try only with e wax and check what is good what is spreadable likewise any product which we are doing we can make 25 grams with any uh, different types of ingredients and we keep trying until we get the uh, correct result a spreadable product and uh, it should not be very thick it should not clog the pores you have to use it for one month 15 days then after you use after you try then uh, after that you can think about selling the product okay ma'am and ma'am uh, what about that coco capriclet uh, so it is a uh, can i use coconut oil instead of coco capriclet no no that is a complete uh, different in different okay uh, Uh, you can get it online also nowadays it is there it is very very thin it is like silicon oil so uh, you can use a uh, coco caprilate uh, that it cannot be used as a single ingredient it has to be added along with the oil it can be only a, a combination of the uh, product so uh, if you are going to add coco caprilate it cannot be used as a sing- uh, like there is Uh, something called emollient a coco caprilate is a emollient it has to be added with an oil only uh, hmm. yeah ma'am so coco caprilate is a purpose what is it soft purpose for easy application it's a very thin oil very uh, hmm. like a light weight oil uh, like any market based product when you apply it it will uh, like immediately get uh, applied and you cannot feel that it will get absorbed that is because they use silicone oil that natural uh, way of using a silicon oil is coco caprilate okay ma'am and what uh, what amount for the emulsifying wax same as given in the formulation okay um, same as a beeswax candela wax yeah instead okay. of the combined both the uh, waxes at the total quantity of both the waxes uh, you can use instead of that you can add emulsifying wax okay ma'am and ma'am uh, what is the uh, label Uh, name for the lipsticks or what mention uh, on lipsticks label uh, if you are going to use uh, emulsifying wax you cannot mention it as organic or natural because emulsifying wax is not a natural product but when you use it in a right quantity it is not at all harmful uh, any product any product any cream which we are using uh, has emulsifying wax in it but still we are using right but we are we have to make sure it is the correct quantity any ingredient when you use it in a recommended quantity it is not harmful so uh, the same way uh, in the bees wax when you mention uh, when you use in a product you can call it as natural or organic okay ma'am yeah thank you so much thank ma'am you. good morning ma'am good morning yes ma'am ma'am i have a doubt regarding the material uh for example a uh, few few things are very clear like it is given in percentage and it's given in grams but for example for lip scrub it is given in teaspoon ma'am like uh, for how to convert this into a uh, percentage or gram ma'am gram you can take the teaspoon of it and you can uh, as mentioned you can measure it and you can uh, because that is a uh, 
uh, like lip scrub which we have given it's not yeah. a, a complete professional uh, product which can be uh, like sold uh, for one year two year it is like three months only uh, expiry date will be like you can mention it as three months it is like a uh, not a completely professional product that is why we have okay. given in uh, teaspoons so you can okay. measure it write down the grams so that you get the so one one spoon, I have to measure and convert it, uh, measure that uh, measurement. And based on the quantity I'm going to make, I need to convert it, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. And one more thing is for, for 24 karat gold serum formulation also. Uh, uh, it's it's mentioned in ML and uh, drops. But I want to know how much would be the total output of the product is not mentioned there. In the same way, you'll have to weigh it and you'll have to calculate it because uh, only no, no. for example when i'm preparing this i would know at least like I'm, I'm, either i'm going to prepare it as a 20 grams product or 50 grams product okay uh, uh, it's not you'll given have there, so... it. you'll have to just add it or add like if uh, jojoba oil is 10 ml then it will mm. be 10, uh, 10 ml right you'll have to add it together all the quantities so you get the extra okay grams. Uh, it's given as aragon rose and grapeseed is for 5 5 ml so total 15 and yes. after that five types of essential oil is given all is mentioned as one one drop. So what would be the one drop? Then? Zero point one grams. Zero point one grams. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, ma'am. And I have one more uh, doubt is for face gels, as we are adding puree to the product, like as you have shown in the video for cucumber and other things. So will it have a shelf life of around one year, ma'am? If I were adding isagard. No, no. Into the... You cannot add iscagard uh, for that. Uh, if okay. you want to use Iska Guard, then you'll have to buy the hydrosols from outside. from uh, And then only you can formulate the gels. Only then it will stay good for one year. You'll have okay. to use methyl uh, benzoate, which we have given in the formulation. Okay, so if I'm going to do, uh, add the extract made made by my own, then I have to use the uh, uh, sodium benzoate. And one more thing, methyl no, no, not uh, sodium benzoate. You'll have to add okay. methyl benzoate. Methyl benzoate. Okay, okay. Okay, ma'am. How? What is the difference between the extract what we made and hydrosol? What is the difference, ma'am? That. So basically, hydrosol. What they do is, uh, they have a steam distilled uh, machine where uh, if you're going to make cucumber hydrosol, you cut the cucumber and oh. uh, you put it in the machine and you add water and uh, this okay. will boil and that steam get distilled. Steam will go up. It will convert into water. It will turn into drops and you get that. But uh, okay. here we are directly making a juice of the cucumber. That is okay. very, uh, like a uh, very active ingredient. It is very thick, so it needs methyl benzoate uh, to preserve it. Okay, ma'am. So if I add this methyl benzoate, uh, how much uh, shelf life can I expect? Means around ten one months to one year. How many months? Depends. One to three years. Uh, like how we mentioned the preservative uh, date is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, if the methyl benzoate which you have got uh, from a shop, if the expiry okay. date is two years, then that will okay. be the expiry date of the product also. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And how can we demand the supplier to send the uh, uh, product with uh, so long uh, 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 expiry date, ma'am? Because they are, they are telling for only six months expiry is there. Hardly eight months because as we are starting with the new business, it is difficult to sell it out within three months or four months. You can get it from Pioneer. They gave two years expiry date. Oh, one, can you please repeat once again, ma'am? Pioneer. Pioneer ingredients. It is there. The contact is inside the post itself. Okay, I'm sure I'll, I'll check with that. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks. Thank ma'am, uh, uh, just a quick question, ma'am. The lipstick, the formulations that you're given foundation or what's the expiry for it or as per your formulations? Uh, any product which does not contain water, especially lipstick, it is two to three years, depends on what oils. You can check all the expiry date of every oil which you have. Based on that, you can give the expiry date. And foundation also same? Yes. Thank you. Most welcome. Ma'am, uh, can you, sorry, uh, can I? Yes. Methyl benzoate and methyl paraben, what is the difference? Both are same. So how we can claim it as an organic product? Right? Uh, most of the organic product they use it. You can call it natural. Uh, you can avoid using the word uh, organic when you use methyl uh, paraben in it. But when you use Iska Guard, you can call it as organic. So, but then with the Iska Guard, we can't uh, use this uh, homemade uh, extract, yeah. right? Yes. Even if it is dry uh, oil. Dry ingredient, right? 
uh, dried ingredients, you can uh, boil it and you can use the extract up to 10 percentage. Rest, you can use uh, water in that. Then we can claim it as a, uh, we can use Iska Garden. Can, yes. Right? Yes. And but then if we are using the grinding and uh, making the juice out of it, then only sodium benzoate, yes, so methyl paraben. Sorry, methyl paraben we have to use. Yes. Right? And uh, what are the, like, if we, we have to give a sticker on, uh, like, organic, uh, in, organic product we give, what are the criteria for it? You have to check in a website called Cosmos. Cosmos, Cosmos. Certified Ingredients. So, uh, based on that, uh, what all ingredients they have used, you will have to use. What is recommended in Cosmos Certificate, that ingredients, when you use, you can label it as organic. But uh, for natural, herbal, or uh, all this, there is no standards. So you can use any ingredient and you can claim it as natural. Okay. That it's always to uh, claim uh, our product is natural. Okay? Yes. Yes. Even I think Ayurveda also, it needs a certificate, Alexa, right? Uh, Ayurvedic, you can just mention it as Ayurvedic. But uh, ma'am, uh, they are asking if... Um, like for the big products also, when you uh, publicize as uh, and when the channels are asking for a certificate of Ayurveda, that means okay. yeah, uh, there is you'll have to get a Ayurvedic uh, SLA, uh, certificate from SLA. So that is a complication. But uh, like uh, I know many of my students who are selling Ayurvedic cosmetic products without any problems. Nowadays, uh, it is not an issue. Like people are busy with a lot of stuff. Only when we contact them and when we check with them, like if it is, can I sell this or not? Can we do this or not? Can I label it as Ayurvedic? Then they will come up with a objection. But once you do it, no, you don't find any problems. Okay. Ma'am, can we replace uh, this uh, caprylic, capric uh, instead of dimethicone? Yes, yes. And 100 percentage can we uh, replace that? Definitely. We are not using dimethicone in any of the products. Right? Yeah, in case we use it, can we get the same no, effect? You'll have to check because uh, that is not completely solvable in every product. That is what you can try with 25% of uh, a product and you have to check. I'm already using this caprylic fabric. Okay. And I, I use dimethicone also. And so uh, I, I would like to replace this dimethicone in fact. So, Definitely, because dimethicone is not recommended. So you can yeah. take 25 grams of uh, product using this. And because mm -hmm. dimethicone, sometimes we use solvent for it to get uh, dissolved. Like to, for blending, emulsifying, we use a solvent. So without yeah. solvent, uh, uh, like uh, cocoa caprylate or caprylic acid, uh, definitely you can use it. This caprylic capric is also an emollient. That means it can uh, mix water and it yes. can easily mix in water. Right? Yes. Okay, um, ma'am, uh, yeah, actually, I would like to go for total eco friendly uh, packaging. So, uh, can we use aluminum? Actually, uh, when we are oils and all, we can use uh, sorry, creams, we can use in glass, but then the shampoos and all, can we go for aluminum containers? Yes. Does it react? It does not react? No, no. Uh, hopefully, I have to check again the formulation. Um, maybe you can try uh, with one ingredient because now I'm working on the one year course formulation and I'm I don't remember what ingredients I've added. Hey, ma'am, when you get it now, when you get that point, you mention it in uh, Facebook. You can post it because uh, we need to really think of that because cosmetics and uh, pharmacy we are creating lot of waste which is not uh, you know reusable. Yeah, it is just thrown everywhere. So yeah. we have to consider the nature also. Like we, and we able to, yeah. Like basically, what you can do everything is mm -hmm. you can take make one one single product of twenty five grams. Use it whatever testing we want to do. You can do it for two months, and okay. after that you can come come to a conclusion. Okay, that container is usable or not? Because yes. now I could see internationally also using lot of aluminum containers for uh, creams and lip. Uh, balms and all. So yes. In, when when the um, cane cane like uh, yeah bamboo bamboo for lipstick and all. 
So you can try. That is not an issue. But aluminum, we'll have to try. Try before some coming to a conclusion because mm -hmm. of keratin uh, might react. Silk protein powder might react. Centrimonium chloride might react. So you have to check before coming to a com uh, conclusion. Okay, ma'am. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, again, uh, what we, can we uh, keep this product in a store after getting MSMA license? Yes, yes, sure, you can. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, my PDF, yeah, uh, whatever uh, your videos, na, titles are in Kannada. Uh, you have any English version? Uh, sorry. I, I don't know it's Kannada or not. It's a different language. Titles. What is below the video, what is meant? Yes, uh, yes, that is uh, like a dummy content, uh, like uh, in the software which we are using for e-learning. So okay. the notes we have given in the uh, as a separate lesson and as well as the uh, PDF which we have given. That's in English. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Both are is it clear? Oh, yeah. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I have a, just a quick okay. clarification on her question whether she can use aluminium. Uh, there was a lady who had come down from a very famous brand, Shiseido. And, uh, you know, their lipstick and all are very famous like uh, Dyer and E Salon. And one time she had mentioned uh, because there was another brand competing. And uh, so that's one point she had uh, mentioned and pointed out that you should never use aluminium containers for lipstick. So that time I didn't know why she mentioned it, but I remember very well. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, Thank you so much. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Um, madam, uh, I am. I have just started making the products. Uh, first, I made a cream. It was successful. But the next, I made a face wash using homemade uh, filtered coffee. Uh, but it did not come out properly. Um, that means it is in a form of liquid. It is not in a form of gel. Okay. Is there any issue of using uh, homemade uh, coffee, filtered coffee? No, uh, actually, uh, the thing is, uh, we use uh, weighing scales, which we buy from Amazon and other stuff, right? It is not properly calibrated. And sometimes, mm. uh, you know, uh, we take uh, the measurements go wrong. That is why uh, you can use uh, something really which has 100 grams of the product or uh, 50 grams, uh, like calibration uh, things will like uh, stones and weights you can get it online also in amazon that you can take and every time before measurement at least once you can calibrate it you have to keep it and you have to check exactly if it is showing 100 grams exactly if it is showing 10 grams and after that when you measure the product then there is no issues with the formulations at all. So many of uh, our students, they are using the same formulations, right? You get the right consistency, you get the right thickness. Natural ingredients will not um, do anything. That is coffee extract. Uh, as mentioned in the formulation, if you have added the right consistency, right uh, ingredients, it was not an issue. Another yes, issue, yeah. Yes, ma'am. If this, uh, this formulation has gone wrong, how can we correct it? Uh, for every uh, formulation, it will be difficult. You will have to post it in the group. I will uh, check and I will let you know. So uh, another issue will be the raw material suppliers. Suppliers will change, as I told you, the same uh, raw materials from every supplier. Uh, some uh, raw materials will make it thick. Some um, raw materials might make it thin. So all this, you'll have to test it. Uh, like 25 grams, you'll have to test the consistency. What changes, like if you have to uh, increase the emulsifier, if you have to increase uh, like humectants or anything, any changes you have to do, you can post it in the group. Like uh, after checking if the weights are correct, Still, uh, if the product is thick or thin, you can post it in the group. I will uh, suggest a uh, ingredient which you have to add to increase the thickness or decrease the thickness. Then you can correct it. In 25 grams, you have to do all the changes. Then you can make uh, like 100 grams and you can start selling. Okay, ma'am. Ma one more doubt, ma'am. Uh, you said that MSME is required for uh, trading the tra for the trademark. If I want to sell the product, what should I do? Should I uh, normally give the name or should I go for the uh, trademark or something? 
trademark definitely we are not recommending msme is a different one it is for micro medium and uh, small business enterprise so uh, that certificate uh, because our business will uh, fall under small uh, business category or micro business category so for that uh, msme certificate you can get uh, that you can get from anyone any chartered accountants uh, or trademark is different or without that also you can uh, check in the group many of our students who are selling they don't have any certificate and many of the people who might we know they don't have any certificate that is no issues to start with you can start without any certificate just give a name make a label print it uh, in any uh, shops nearby and then you can start your business in future definitely uh, it is better to get a msme certificate as uh, as we go on improving our business we will we may be needing the msme ma'am yes okay okay thank you ma'am most welcome uh, ma'am can i give a question yes for a course process of, uh, you mentioned on Facebook that <clears throat> uh, from eight years of and above can be used, but what about other products from which age starts it? It is recommended to use. Okay. Like any product, product, eight years above. Oh, eight years above, all the products. Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Ma'am, I have prepared the gym formulation. But in uh, saffron gel formulation, every time I pick, uh, I make it, uh, the consistency becomes thick. Even I try to make the tea uh, from 10 drops to 7 and from 7 to 5 also I have reduced. Even that it's becoming thick. And because of that, after that, uh, uh, adding that methyl paraben, it does not dissolve. So what is the mistake in that? The saffron has the natural consistency of thickening. So should we reduce the T to some of the, uh, reduce it to some more thing or what is the mistake ma'am? So basically when you use uh, active ingredients like fruits, fruit based, pomegranate and all, uh, the product will be very thin. Sometimes we'll have to add more of T to thicken the product. And a uh, product like aloe vera gel, saffron gel, it does not have any uh, like, thicken like um, ingredients to thin it out so it will become very thick so you have to add water to adjust the consistency so after preparing uh, we can add the water and make it thin. Mm -hmm. so when it is thin, in the formulation right? also you have made the same thing ma'am it got thick and you added dm water at last i think so uh, yeah, before cooling down, you have to, when it is heating itself, when it becomes thick, you have to add water, adjust the consistency. When you get the right consistency, only then you have to allow it to cool down. So all the adjustment, we do it when the product is already formed. But because of that, no ma'am, the methyl paraben is not at all dissolving every time. That is the issue. I had made with different thing also. Uh, so, at what stage the methyl paraben should be added in that adding the water or uh, after uh, adding the water? Around 45 to 50 degree, you can add the preservative. That Even I added at 70 time. degree, ma'am, but methyl is not at all dissolving in that. Then because you the have to change the supplier because here we add it only at 45 50 degree. Sometimes what happens when you, uh, when you add it while it is very hot, then it will not preserve the product. It will, uh, the atoms will break, then it will, it is of no use. The product will get con uh, contaminated. So for preservatives alone, you have to add it when the product is around 45, 50 degree. But I'm getting it from Vijay Impacts only, ma'am. All other products are in right consistency, like gel. Only the saffron is not at all coming into correct consistency. And the pomegranate also, ma'am, as you said, it's uh, becoming very thin after a few days. While making it was in right consistency. But after a few days, it become like watery, somewhat watery. Is, is it like it got spoiled or uh, because of that natural ingredient, it is like that, ma'am? It is a natural ingredient. So you'll have to add more tea in pomegranate gel, more DM water in saffron gel. Okay, ma'am. So tea, the, no need to adjust tea in that, ma'am. Only the DM water we have to adjust. Yes. And uh, one more question, ma'am. For hair growth uh, oil or serum, like it's not at all included in this. It is in advanced classes, as you said. It is in offline classes only. It is available. Yes. Because nowadays the hair growth products are more in market now. 
yeah there is a hair care formulation a complete course for uh, which is which we have included in the advanced course okay it is not in online only in offline ma'am only in uh, offline classes okay yeah okay thank you thank you ma'am one more question i'm so sorry no problem you. uh ma'am eco is also a preservative right so it's a broad spectrum preservative uh, can we re uh, can we replace that this uh, which uh, one so i am asking get you eco eco that is uh, with the benzyl alcohol salicylic acid glycerin and sorbic acid okay eco formulation actually i'm using eco yes 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 definitely you can use instead of sodium benzoate we can use that no no not sodium benzoate in the place of istagard you can use it actually i am using that only for the making gel now at present but then i have never used a natural thing i always bought the um, like you know extract from outside and then for the vendor vendor and i used so it's the organic based preservatives so you hmm. have to uh, use it only for uh, uh, the products which does not have more of natural ingredients in it but then again i we take from vendor at the extracts they must have used some preservative we never know they are not going to mention also that right yeah so it's better to use our own so um, are we cal calculating this preservative with the product when we make the product again and towards the end we have to cooling uh, we have to add the preservative right yeah so not able so to get no no when we are making the extract we are using the preservative for the extract but again uh, we are going to we are using the preservative while making the product while formulating the product right so are we calculating that no for the extract we are not using any preservative for the complete product only we'll be uh, using the preservative okay extract we don't need to use a preservative yeah only Uh, you know if we want to keep it for shelf life uh, okay is... if you are going to keep it for shelf life it is not recommended that to natural extracts it is not recommended only hydrosols you can add a uh, uh, preservative uh, and you can uh, keep it but natural uh, like uh, uh, ingredients uh, natural extracts then and there you'll have to make it and you have to make the product for the okay for the hydrosols what would be the effect i mean what which is better hydrosols so yeah, the extract what you are making at home while using it which is more uh, helpful for the skin definitely what we are making it that is only helpful hydrosol it is it has like what we are making in that 10 or 20 percentage effect we'll get in hydrosol hmm, okay but then these products we cannot claim paraben free right yes yes that is a problem because the market needs paraben free products yeah in that so... case you can make a hydrosol so uh, i will be uh, like when i start uh, uh, next month or uh, like after that i will make a video of how you can make a virus hydrosol and i will post it in the group very soon for that i think we need a distillation uh, like uh, the no, we make it uh, here in the academy without any distiller so uh -huh. i will show it how you can make it uh, easily okay thank you ma'am ma'am when we are making lipstick or uh, cause process of any desired temperature when uh, lip flavor oil or essential oil should be added because if it's too hot it will uh, spoil the quality of flavor oil stick uh, you're asking about essential oil for lipstick uh no no the flavor oil for lipstick essential oil for soaps for example it has to be cooled down to certain temperature then we should add flavor yes. oils yes so it so has to cool down to 45 degree 45 thank you very much yeah so i hope i have answered all the questions anything left uh ma'am how do we sterilize the beaker using isopropyl alcohol uh just spray isopropyl alcohol and then just use a tissue and clean it okay okay thank you ma'am thank you very much uh, it was very really helpful ma'am thank you most welcome so those of you who are interested in offline course if anyone is from bangalore you can share an email uh, showing uh, like with your contact details also so we'll get back 
and every one of you thank you so much for joining today's session and if anything i have missed anything is there right. i'm i'm sorry ma'am uh, but i can get details of the course like price and everything uh, we will be sharing the website in the group itself uh, the course fee is uh, 130000 for one year along with the materials course books everything okay thank you ma'am it's well Ma'am, at least give us the course material. Uh, syllabus, once it gets uh, like sorted out with the university, first thing I will do is I will share in the Facebook group. After that, only uh, we'll be sharing uh, like with others. So you don't okay. have to worry. Still, the work is going on with the university. So. Thank you so much. Thank you, every one of you. So, see you next month, next uh, meeting. And if Thank any. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Any question, if I have missed, you can post it in the same thread where we have posted about the question and answer session. So, there itself, you can ask or separate uh, post. You all know, right, where to ask the question. So, you can ask it and I will reply to it. Thank you so much, everyone. Ma'am, tell me about the uh, red wine creams. Red wine creams? Uh, yeah, you noted the question. You, uh, I have explained already. Any uh, like further in, uh, information you need? Can you be specific? Anything? No, you uh, you told I'm about using actually, the light oils and uh, CCTG something. Yes, yes. Uh, so CCTG or uh, Coco Caprolate. Uh, like I will do one thing. I cannot post the formulation exactly in the uh, group because we have non-students also. So you can combine all the oils together in the red wine cream. If it is uh, uh, like sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, whatever oils we have given in the formulation, you can add all the oil quantity. And instead of that oils, you can replace with the same quantity. You can replace with two things. One is any oil that is uh, which is lightweight like rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, argan oil, all these are lightweight oil. So if you need, I can post it in the chat box. So uh, half the quantity should be any of these oils and half the quantity should be uh, the coco caprolate. So replacing this, you can formulate a very lightweight uh, uh, moisturizer. I hope. Ma'am, I... please uh, share contact details about Pioneer because I am not able to find on that course. Okay, I will uh, share it here. I think it is there in the fifth lesson. Anyways, I will share it. And ma'am, when you are planning to start this course in Bangalore? Sorry for asking about this again. Uh, we'll be starting in the first week of uh, August. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So this is the contact detail of Pioneer I have shared in the group. So Shalini, you can uh, sterilize it by spraying isopropyl alcohol, wiping it with a tissue, and then you can use uh, products in it. Neetu Sharma, we already have a Facebook support group where you can ask your questions. So, Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, the notes are already available within the course. So, we won't be able to share it through mail. Uh, like, personally, if you need, you can uh, send an email to the uh, mail address which we have given you. Yes, Renuka, you can do that. So thank you everyone. Meet you next month and further any questions you can always ask in the Facebook support group.